the most isolated communities in the world. Our strength lies in togetherness as seen through the millions of cultures that have existed in the past millions of years. Regardless of where we live, be in cities, forests, or caves, living and working together is not a strange thing. But around the world, you will find a handful of communities who are lone survivors, for lack of a better word. Whatever they do and how they operate is entirely under the fold. Top secret. In this video, we'll show you the most isolated communities in the world. Watch till the end and get the surprise of your lifetime. But before we begin kindly subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content please give us a like share the video and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our weekly uploads let's get it on one Tristan de Cunha British overseas territory the volcanic island of Tristan de Cunha in the South Atlantic boasts a population of 258 people with only nine different last names the locals speak English but have also invented their own dialects with words derived from Scottish, English, St. Hellenian, South African, American, Dutch, Italian, and Irish. Reflective of their various origins, South Africa is the nearest country to the British Overseas Territory, which is said to be the most remote inhabited archipelago in the world. To get there, you have to time your visit one of the three ships that make nine trips from Cape Town each year, a journey of 1,732 miles. Mile. 2. Cape York Peninsula, Australia The northernmost point of Australia, Cape York, is a peninsula that's swimming with crocodiles. However, it's a great place to go fishing for sport. The land is owned by five indigenous communities who also manage its tourism industry. Cape York is about a 28-hour drive from Cairns, and renting a four-wheel drive vehicle is a must thanks to its unwelcoming terrain. It is the largest unspoiled wilderness in northern Australia. The relatively undisturbed eucalyptus wooded savannas, tropical rainforests, and other type of habitat are now recognized and preserved for their global environmental significance. 3. Oymyakon, Russia This remote Russian town is known as the coldest inhabited place on Earth. Its 500 residents live in darkness for 21 hours a day with an average temperature of negative 58 degrees. It's impossible to grow crops there, so people live on reindeer meat, frozen fish, and ice cubes of horse blood with macaroni. According to Wired, indoor plumbing is also tricky since the water freezes, so most use outhouses. Getting there can take several days. From Moscow, a flight to either Yakutsk or Magadan is the closest you can get and both are over 560 miles away. The road from those cities that leads to Oymyakon is called the Road of Bones. Don't drive it alone, you might as well not get to your destination. Creepy, right? 4. Easter Island, Chile Eastern Island's 900 iconic statues don't outnumber the island's 3,300 residents, but its economy runs mostly on tourism, as people from around the world make the 2,300-mile journey from Chile to marvel at them. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, the construction and the purpose of the statue still remain a mystery. LAN is the only airline with flights to Easter Island, with prices starting at around $900 from the United States. 5. Pitcairn Island, British Overseas Territory Pitcairn Island is a British Overseas Territory situated 3,300 miles from New Zealand, which serves as the island's administrative headquarters. No plane or helicopter has ever landed there, so to get here, you'll need a 32-hour yacht ride. Not much is known about the island's first settlers. However, European mutineers of a ship called Bounty discovered Polynesian civilization remnants, including stone gods, burial sites, and earth ovens. When they arrived in 1790, 2004, six local men were convicted of committing sexual assault which had devastating, wide-sweeping effects on the population of 50. Today, Pitcairn Island remains an idyllic island that attracts few new residents due to the lingering scandal. 6. Barrow, Alaska There are no roads that lead to Barrow. The town is only accessible by plane, but an hour and a half flight from 
and garage is doable. Sitting at the very top of Alaska, their winter consists of 65 straight days of darkness because of its reboat location. The cost of living is high. A jar of peanut butter can cost about $10, and according to one resident, there are thousands more caribou than people. During the 2000 census, the population of Barrow stood at 4,581, and 10 years later in 2010, it shrank to 4,212. 7. Itotokormi, Greenland Founded in 1925 by settlers from Tassilak and West Greenland, Itotokormi is about as far away as you can get from any other inhabited area of Greenland. It's so remote that you need a helicopter ride from the airport to get to the town itself. Its 450 residents enjoy dog sledding and camping while tourists visit to see the northern lights and other natural wonders. It's also a cruise destination despite sea ice that blocks any ships from docking or nine months in a year. 8. Kerguelen Island, French Southern and Antarctic Land The Kerguelen Islands in the Indian Ocean are part of the French Southern and Antarctic Land. They are 2,000 miles from the southernmost part of Africa and are only accessible by ship four days a year. Kerguelen Island itself is also known as Desolation Island and is surrounded by 300 other islets scattered over 2,400 square miles. Coated by glaciers, the Kerguelen Islands receive rain, sleet, or snow 300 days a year. Most of the people who live there are French researchers. 9. Siwa Oasis, Egypt because Siwa is so isolated in the middle of Egypt's western desert, the inhabited Siwa language and Amazi culture have been preserved. It's not a common stop for tourists since it's a five-hour bus ride from Carrillo. But those who are brave, the desert can enjoy locally grown dates and olives, swim in Cleopatra's Bath Mineral Spring, and stay at the famous desert eco-lodge built out of mud and salt. 10. Changtang, Tibet Known as the Roof of the World, Chang Tain's altitude ranged from 4,000 to 9,000 feet. The 990-mile stretch of land across the Taibtin Plateau is home to a nomadic people called the Changpa. Wildlife like snow leopards and yaks thrive in its cold, arid climate. You need a permit in order to enter, which can cost several thousand dollars, but it's accessible via the Leh Airport, Udahampur Railway Station, or driving from Manali or Sunegar. 11. Vila Las Estrellas Antarctica. Vila Las Estrellas, Spanish for Star Town, is a Chilean settlement in Antarctica. That's just like any other small town with a gym, church, public school, and souvenir shop. It's one of only two residential towns on the entire continent. The rest of the inhabited areas are research outposts populated by scientists. Getting to Antarctica requires a two-day boat trip from Ushuaia, Argentina, to cross the Drake Passage into the Antarctic Circle. 12. Socotra Island, Yemen The plants here are out of this world. Socotra Island is one of the most alien-looking places on Earth. Thanks to its weird-looking dragon's blood tree, located on Yemen's Gulf of Aden, Socotra Island contains over 800 rare species of plants, a third of which can't be found anywhere else in the world. Some of them do look a bit extraterrestrial, but their odd shapes reflect how they've adapted to the island's tropical desert climate. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, Socotra Island has 40,000 inhabitants, but only built its first road in 2011. It is about 400 miles from Sana'a, the capital of Yemen, from which flights are available. 13. Supai, Arizona in Supai, Arizona, the mail is delivered by Mule, a remote village in the southwestern branch of the Grand Canyon. The village is only accessible by helicopter, horseback, or an eight-mile hike. Supai is the tribal center of the Havasupai tribe, which means people of the green-blue waters, a reference to four waterfalls along Havasu Creek that are popular with tourists. 14. Cooper Petty, Australia Pick up some opal jewelry while you're there. Cooper Petty is all known as the opal capital of the world. Gem quality opal was first discovered there in 1915, and the opal mining industry continues to sustain the small town of about 3,500 people. The city is a two-hour flight from Adelaide. 15. La Rincanada, Peru 
La Rinconada sits three miles in the air in Peru's mountainous Pueno province, making it the world's highest city. According to CNN, the town has no running water or sewage system, and nearly 68% of the population lives below the poverty line. Getting there isn't easy. La Rinconada is a six-hour ride from the nearest city on unpaved roads with no regular buses. Your best bet is to hitch a ride. Did you enjoy our video? Which community, in your opinion, is the most bizarre and why? Well, if you enjoyed our video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our awesome content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our weekly uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section below.